Black History Month every October in, in the UK is really important. It's important for me because I think it's personally and professionally a time to recognise the contribution of black people and black communities to the United Kingdom very specifically. In the 21st century we are in what I would call a kaleidoscope nation and I think that um, Black History Month allows us to focus on the specific contributions and the specific ways in which our worlds have been shaped by people who came at different points in our history. I think awards such as the Power List during Black History Month gives them even more um, focus on how we as a country and as different communities within that country benefit from the um, contributions of people from a range of different communities and backgrounds. The Power List is really, really important, more specifically because it's not only a health award. The Power List spreads across the span of professions from entertainment through to sport, through to policy, um, big business, as well as health and healthcare. But I think the key thing for me around the challenges of black leadership is actually providing a, um, I suppose, a, a, a range of opportunities and a range of examples for people who aspire to be leaders um, from black and other minority ethnic groups to demonstrate that it is possible to do. The highlight of my career so far, I would say, has um, been probably becoming a head of department within nursing. I've worked in many places and I've worked internationally and I've worked within health policy, both internationally and nationally. But I think for me, the, the bonus of doing this particular role is actually having the opportunity to influence the future of healthcare provision and certainly the future of nursing provision both through the students that we have at Manchester Metropolitan University but also in enabling the staff to realise some of their career aspirations and develop the profession if you like as a whole.